hello everyone welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more so today's class uh, will be on modes of intervention so in the last sessions we had covered uh, causes concepts of causation and then comes the concepts of prevention so it is uh, like a continuum it is uh, all goes in the same line so when the disease is uh, happening it comes under concept of causation there are various theories and how do we prevent it so what are the uh, preventive strategies that is levels and concepts of prevention and the next one is modes of intervention so that is how do we apply this uh, preventive strategies that's what we are discussing today modes of intervention so it is nothing but the levels of prevention but what are the measures we take what are the particular steps in levels of prevention okay so modes of intervention basically has five steps which is uh, uh, five steps which will be into three levels of prevention the first two steps that is health promotion and specific protection it comes under primary prevention the second pre secondary prevention is early diagnosis and treatment and the tertiary prevention is disability limitation and rehabilitation so let's uh, go into detail about the health promotion that is coming under primary prevention so primordial prevention is not mentioning here so the primary prevention that is the truest uh, sense of prevention where the disease is not yet occurred okay so let's see what is uh, in health promotion so health promotion is just like uh, promoting so we need to promote health just like uh, we promote our products we promote uh, people promote uh, their movies their books their songs just like we need to promote health so health promotion is nothing but they all together uh, compiled uh, compiled movement of the social uh, health administrative political and all together come into action to promote health not a single factor can alone do this health promotion so it has to be a multi-sectoral or intersectoral coordination for this health promotive activities so let's see what is in health promotion the steps are the activities are health education environmental modifications nutritional interventions lifestyle and behavioral changes so all of the life sectors has to be uh, come into the action for promoting health so what is health education it's nothing but educating people about health why you need to uh, why you need to keep hygiene all the time why you need to get the uh, profile access uh, what are the causes of this disease and how this disease spreads so that you can prevent the disease uh, why you need to wash your hands before and after uh, food or uh, washroom so all these things we need to teach them so then only they can follow it so if they know the pathogenesis the etiology of particular disease they can prevent the disease so educating uh, people about health is uh, a part of health promotion and that comes under primary prevention so the second part is uh, environmental modification even if we keep ourselves very hygiene very aware of the health what if uh, the water we drink or we get from outside is uh, very filthy and it is containing uh, coliform bacteria so we can't help it so the environment also should be very health promoting so we should be able to get uh, safe drinking water there should be proper sanitary latrines and there should be control of insects and rodents and there should be a good housing facilities so that's why i was saying uh, it should be a multifactorial or intersectoral approach as an individual as a person i cannot be always healthy if my environment my surroundings is very uh, filthy or it is polluted so even if i being very conscious or very aware of the health there is no point so environmental modification is must then the nutritional interventions that's why government is providing nutrients for uh, under five age uh, in various uh, schemes like midday meal scheme icds schemes through anganwadis and all these 
that is to uh, prevent uh, certain uh, diseases like uh, malnourishment uh, and uh, protein, protein uh, nutrients and uh, vitamin deficiencies so we give it at a very early stage so that they don't develop the disease at all so nutritional intervention is part of health promotion it's just like vulnerable groups uh, there are programs for vulnerable groups like uh, pregnant women lactating women and underage uh, under five age children so food fortification nutritional education child feeding program all these are coming under health promotion uh, the second part of health promotion is specific protection uh, in first part we are doing everything in general uh, aspect but second part is specific protection we have to be very specific just like immunization we know immunization is against polio uh, mmr vaccine mumps measles rubella then the hepatitis vaccine japanese encephalitis vaccine so all these are particularly or specifically against a particular disease so that is a specific protection and use of specific nutrients to prevent a specific disease we are providing vitamin b to prevent uh, anemia or iron and uh, calcium tablet to prevent anemia so such uh, things nutrients and cream of prophylaxis and protection against occupational hazards we know we wear the helmets when go to a work site protection against accidents we promote uh, using helmets and seat belts uh, similarly avoidance of allergens, allergens and protection from carcinogens so it comes under health promotion also under primary prevention and it is a part of health promotion that is specific protection we are specifically doing uh, works against um, certain diseases or certain injuries or certain accidents to prevent such accidents or diseases so this comes under secondary prevention that is early diagnosis and treatment so the secondary prevention is we cannot say that it is truest uh, sense because i had mentioned in the last class that the truest prevention is primary and primordial because the disease has not yet occurred but in secondary prevention disease is just started or disease is going the progress we need to halt we need to stop the progress of disease so as early as we need to find out the disease Okay. so the screening of disease is very much important in this section we should find out the disease people or the disease at very early stage so that it won't result much of the morbidity so it won't create much of the problem for people so if it is a cancer we need to go to population and we need to do active screening of uh, various types of cancer so that we can uh, find out cancers in very apparently healthy people so that they get a better uh, treatment at a very early stage and they'll have a very good prognosis what if it goes a uh, very late stage and we diagnose it at a very late stage the prognosis will be very uh, poor so early diagnosis and adequate or prompt treatment it is a part of secondary prevention so that is secondary prevention comes early diagnosis and third part treatment the number three this is part of the first one was health promotion and specific protection it comes under primary prevention early diagnosis and treatment the three comes under secondary prevention and the last part is uh, tertiary prevention it has two sections one is disability limitation and rehabilitation the tertiary prevention in the sense the disease has caused its full effect the person is suffering person is disabled uh, if we take dental caries tooth is non-vital tooth has lost to this uh, not able to do a mastication people has lost a limb people has lost eye has lost ear something like that so we need to limit the disability okay so here it is reported at very late pathogenesis phase the pathogen or the particular problem has shown its full effect uh, now only uh, available option is limiting the disability so objective is to prevent the transition of disease from impairment to handicap so let it not go to a stage of handicap okay so handicap means a socially is not able to perform the duties uh, if he's a athlete if he lose uh, his leg means uh, his socially his uh, his job is uh, completely stopped if he's a uh, like surgeon he lost his fingers due to some accident he can't do a surgery anymore so that handicap should not happen 
so it should be uh, stopped at a very early uh, transition stage that impairment to handicap so let's take an example we'll get an idea this is a concept of disability disease happens then there will be impairment then disability handicap let's see an example the disease is frostbite okay so when it comes in contact with very low temperature what happens is the person lost his two fingers okay so frostbite is disease impairment is losing two fingers so disabilities is cannot do surgery that is his disability is not able to do the surgery what happened the handicap thing is he can't become a surgeon so that surgeon what is missing here he can't become surgeon so that is the handicap uh, portion of uh, the cycle so we need to stop it at least this stage let uh, it not become a socially uh, handicap if it's become handicap you need to be uh, rehabilitated with with artificial processes and he need to be uh, accompanied with uh, helpers so that stage should not happen so tertiary prevention is always aiming at disability limitation so we need to limit the disability and let it not go to the handicap stage so rehabilitation is nothing but we need to rehabilitate the people or the person who has suffered a severe injury or severe disease so rehabilitation comes under many uh, heading it's like medical rehabilitation we need to replace the uh, food uh, he has lost vocational rehabilitation we need to get him a livelihood because uh, he was an athlete he lost his leg so he can't do any job so we need to give him a livelihood we need to socially rehabilitate so we need to get him back to his uh, you know, the family and social relationship because he might have a isolation isolated feeling so we need to get him back to the family circle and we need to psychologically rehabilitate we need to get back to or restore his personal dignity and his confidence so all this comes under rehabilitation so this is the last part so if disability limitation is not possible it goes to the rehabilitative phase so rehabilitative phase is nothing but a restoration of his medical social educational and vocational measures so that, so that he is able to live a highest possible level of functional with functional ability so it has all these sectors like medical vocational social and psychological rehabilitation okay so that's all about uh, the modes of intervention so we have seen health promotion uh, the various measures used in health promotion that is health education environmental modification nutritional and behavioral changes next one was specific protection we had seen it comes under immunization protection against hazards accidents and carcinogens and the secondary prevention it is early diagnosis we need to give proper active screening and finding out the disease at a very early stage then the tertiary prevention it has disability limitation so we can see the example of disability limitation yeah, we need to stop at this disability limit and let it not go to the handicap so if it is not possible then we have to rehabilitate so rehabilitation in the sense medical vocation social and psychological so that's all about uh, the various intervention of prevention so this is nothing but the prevention but how do we apply the preventive measures so we have covered the concept of disease concept of prevention and the modes of intervention in prevention so i'll come up with a new session